Hi everyone! Today I'm excited to present to you the new Luxon wall box. But why does Luxon manufacture its own wall box? There are hundreds, if not thousands of manufacturers on the market who offer a wall box. Let me show you how the Luxon wall box differs from all others on the market and what exactly the special features are. The new Luxone wall box can be integrated fully into the energy management of your building. You can do so within seconds via plug and play. The charging power of the wall box is regulated automatically between 1.38 and 11 kilowatts. This happens in three phases via the mini server, depending on the PV surplus. This makes our Luxone wall box the solution for intelligent excess charging that can help you save a thousand euros and more a year. But why is this so important? An average PV system has about 10 kilowatts peak. So even in the absolute best case, you won't be able to use all the free energy for charging with 11 kilowatts. In most cases, however, the solar yield is lower and energy from the grid always has to be used to charge your vehicle. Of course, we want to avoid this because the best case scenario would be charging your vehicle 100% with free PV surplus. If you would like to charge your vehicle with full power, even if the surplus is not sufficient, you can of course do so easily with the customizable charging modes. However, the dynamic reduction of the charging power is also important in projects with several wall boxes and a limited grid connection. This way, the charging power can be reduced automatically to the current requirement to avoid overloading the mains connection. The Luxon wall box is available in the wire tree and wireless air versions. This provides you with a stable communication at all times, since you're not dependent on network communication. Further, the wall box is equipped with a five meter charging cable, which is suitable for all electric vehicles with a type two charging plug. Another highlight is the wall box's expandability, thanks to the removable cover on the front, a product from the Luxone Touch product family. For instance, an NFC code touch, Touch Pure Flex or Touch Pure can be integrated. In the tree version, the tree cable is looped from the wall box to the touch product. And in the air version, the 24 volts DC for the touch product can be tapped directly from the wall box. Thanks to this modular system, you have maximum flexibility. With an NFC code touch, for example, you can allow charging only for people with authorization. Or you can use the Touch Pure Flex layout developed specifically for the wall box with which you can select the charging modes at your convenience. Or you can design your own Touch Pure Flex layout completely customized to your needs. All information about the new Touch Pure Flex layout can be found in our configurator. The wall box is IP44 certified and can therefore be installed in your garage, on the wall of the house, or completely freestanding, for example, in a parking lot. Our Luxone wall box is also equipped with a Modbus interface for easy integration of any Modbus meter of your choice. If your project requires a calibrated meter, the modular system simplifies the calibration process considerably, as the meter can be removed easily without further ado. Thanks to the integrated DIN rail, you can also mount all other devices that are required on the DIN rail. As already mentioned, the wall box can be mounted on a house wall or even freestanding. In addition to the three-phase supply line, the tree version only requires a tree cable for communication with the mini server. In the air version, communication takes place, as usual, via wireless air technology. The new wall box is fully integrated into the home and building automation. And thanks to the mini server, holistic energy management, including PV access charging control, can be implemented quickly and easily. Let's look at how to implement this in the Luxone config. The wall box is learned and added as usual via Triar Air. As always, you can find detailed information about the learning process in our online documentation. Once the wall box has been learned in, simply drag the IP connector to the side and the new wall box module will be inserted. First, enter the minimum and maximum charging power in the properties in my case, 1.38 kilowatts to 11 kilowatts. By double-clicking on the block, you can now configure up to five freely definable charging modes. In our case, mode one is the PV axis. Here, the charging power is set by logic. Mode two is the turbo. The full 11 kilowatts, including mains purchase, are used here. And mode three is comfort. 
Here the vehicle is charged with 5 kilowatts, including mains purchase. Now I add the three-phase Modbus meter via the integrated Modbus interface and connect the measured power to the input CP, which is the current charging power of the module. As mentioned, in mode 1 I want the vehicle to only use the PV surplus that is available. This is calculated by the energy manager, so I connect the output to the LM1 of the wall box. By the way, you can find all information about the energy manager in our webinar on the new config in app 13.1. In order to avoid peak loads, charging can be paused for a short time. This information is picked up by the load manager module. This was an overview of the top features that make the Luxone wallbox so unique. We got the dynamic access charging, guaranteed stable connection thanks to tree or air technology, full app support including freely definable loading modes, expandability with NFC code touch, touch pure flex or touch pure, an integrated Modbus interface, and of course, the seamless integration into Luxone smart energy management. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss any of our exciting news, subscribe to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.